looks like it connected. I haven't seen YouTube yet, but oh, I think we're good. All right. I don't care if you could hear us, you hear us now. It's Tighten Up Tuesday. That's B flat and her mirror live in Philadelphia. I'm Chris Denman in St. Louis. Who's that behind me? That's Key. Andy Engineering tonight. Tighten Up Tuesday. We're here for you. That's right. It's where we flip shit and make it fly. Big guest tonight, Carla Palmer joining B. You guys get ready in the chat. Picasso's long hair. I don't know what Key's up to, but uh, I'm ready to have some fun. Everybody looks nice tonight. Showered appropriately, uh, hair. To oh, Key's good. Just a quick check. Let us know if you're having a good time in the comments. Oh, B's got a new dance. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. What's up, B? Wow. I'm going to be very honest with you. You look like you could steal somebody's girl off them. No? What? Say that again. Shit, I ain't even get that. That kind of blew my high. Did I even say that again? You're looking like you could steal somebody's girl. Why would I want to steal somebody's girl? I thought okay. you were going to say somebody. Whatever. Girl. I didn't say what for. Conversation. Uh -huh. Crafts. What's up, B? How are you? Well, in this case, I do that anyway because people always want to talk to me, Chris. Oh, that's Even a fact. Even little kids. It's the hair. I'm your, hair so your hair looks great. Oh, thank you. I'm, I think I'm going to be rocking this for a minute because it's easy. I just washed it. I just cut it. I ain't do the shape up, but I'm like, you know what? My hair is getting too long, like yours. But you know, I I know I do something with mine. So these are I'm natural. glad you're these are natural. You know, you I like know. these. It's so long, and I'm jealous because I'm really trying to let my hair get long. Well, I am. I are you that. really? Yeah, that's why it's so long on one. You know, it just leans to the side because I really wanted to get like past my ear, like hang over like this. But it won't grow in the back. I got the little tadpole ponytail in the back. So whatever you do with your hair, whenever you plan to cut it, can you bag it up and send it to me? That'd you be laughing. Ultimate, that'd be an ultimate partnership. You'd use my yeah. hair. Yes, I can hook it up. It's human hair. It's it it up it's up like it. a it's like a well groomed horse. I'll tell well, you that. I it's a that pain in the, in the sink, ass. Throw that in the sink. Throw some red down and boo ya. Best, that'd, be the, that'd be the best night this hair's I, ever had. Soak it in a pan of water. So, <laughs> hot water and salt, throw some Ritz down on it. I'd be good to go, Chris. So think about what you're going to do with it. And you know, you can donate your hair. I don't know if it's long enough, is it? Oh, it, it, yes. Yes, it is. And you definitely could donate it because, you know, they make wigs for cancer patients with hair. No, that's, so. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. If you look at the side of my head right here, you can see I need your hair because I'm looking needy. That's fill, all I'm fill saying. Fill in. Okay. <laughs> that'll, be, that'll be a DIY. It's a good show tonight. It's a it's a good show filled with a lot of great things. You know, I'm getting excited. Today is our 90th episode, Chris. Wow, isn't that wild? Episodes away from the 100th. So God is good all the time. Dun, 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 dun. Chris, hit it, Chris. Won't he do it? <laughs> oh, you said it wrong. You know you ain't supposed to say it. 
how would I say it? Won't he? Won't he do it? There you won't go. He do it. Thank you. All right. Now, we we're not going to detract from your points. I'm letting you know that right now. Oh, thank you. Uh, no penalties. Yes. No penalties incurred. Sorry. Before I even get started in thanking Daphne and Lauren, of course, you know, I got to thank Daphne and Lauren who wrote this music. I want to give a shout out to you, Mikos Media, because first of all, you've been hanging in there with us, Chris, this 90 episodes. And you could be looking delirious <laughs> and be like, oh, damn, I'm t- I got a million ep- pod, uh, pod code, shit, podcast episodes all in one with all that you do between us sherry and kim's show all the other podcasts you do i'm just thankful that you're still hanging with us hey and of course you're thankful for kim and sherry for letting the engine that could stay on their channel so That's right. it's a blessing so i just want to show my love when we get to st louis chris we're celebrating and we wouldn't be there if it wasn't for you so there oh, you have it really cool. the be- the picasso's uh, ascending upon st louis that's right registration opened up i'm doing videos we got a whole plan of marketing that we had a great meeting on i talked to quincy about some stuff laid out some just a lot of people maddie just a lot of shout outs so i love it look at you be showing love up top in the show you got a you got a great you got a tight show ahead of you quickly quick shout out to miss ethel i just want i don't know how these got lost in the mail but i do want to let her know because she was concerned that this finally came and it's actually a sympathy card for dennis's brother and that's how you know how long and a birthday card for me and i really appreciate it and this really nice angel isn't that nice i'm putting this right in my nice. look that's very thoughtful the colors of my room the yoga room are in it it's going to work perfect right above the door so the entryway, it says I'm an angel. I really appreciate that. Mm-hmm. And a quick shout out to Carmen Jones. She just sent me a nice card and just says she's praying that God takes care of me every day. Just a nice note saying thank you for all your strength, your realness, and your gift of comedy to us. Cute card. So y'all know where this is going. In the scrapbook that I'm bringing to St. Louis for everybody to sign. I'm so excited, Chris. So there you have it. Yeah. So quick shout out to them for that. Of course, you know, Daphne, I'm going to work her to death other than just her frugal flip in her home. She's going to have a lot of writing to do because we have a lot of things that we have to post and keep people abreast of as we as we're registering, as we let people know what events are happening. Just bring all the logistics together and with our marketing. So, you know, I like to run by her. There's a whole uh, little park next to our building now. I have a feeling you're going to lead the Picassos in like a in like a uniformed dance segment. I think is it done see. already? It's or kind is it of they laid grass. They did the the murals done. All it's like top fifty hip hop artists, women hip hop artists, and everything. And there's string lights up. You'll I have a feeling you're going to enjoy it. When I was there, they were just laying the concrete for like the the walkway to come out, and it was yeah, still like. There's sod. They put sod down. Wow, yeah. that's what's up. That's what's up. So, hopefully, we'll be able to explore that area when we come to uh, St. Louis. But who knows, Chris? We'll see. We who all knows? Know. You got a lot to do, and you got a lot to do. So, but we're gonna be doing it together. So that's the great thing. That's right. There you have. It. All right, quick shout out, real quick. Um, I definitely have to give a shout out to Carmen because I didn't get a chance to post her. Um. Her little promo, uh, her picture came in late today, which is okay. I totally appreciate that. But I did do a live to let people know she would be on the night. And what people don't know is that she's one of our official sponsors. So I just want to show her. Yes. And she's going to be on talking about all the DIY stuff that she does to brand and market herself. So I'm going to have Andy show the picture of her real quick. This is just a photo that she sent of her and I when we were at the show. And I think that's the first picture. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to her coming on a little later in the segment so that we can talk about Elevate the Good. So shout out to what? Carla. What? Yes. Represent St. Louis. What department uh, store? Yeah. What department store is this an ad for? <laughs> um, Tiffany's. Oh, of course. <laughs> and we ain't got on no jewelry. That's how bad we that's are. That's right. That's how, that's how you know. That's right. Yeah, that's how bad we are. Tiffany's. 
You see, I'm rocking my Picasso earrings. Yeah. Of course, why not? Just keep it natural, keep it simple. All you need is one or two pieces. That's just me. I don't like a lot of jewelry because it cl- makes noise on stage and it sounds horrible when I'm listening to my tapes and all I hear is my bracelets clinging. So I quit that years ago. Gotcha. And necklaces jumping around. Next photo. Oh, I love when Picasso's get a chance to meet. And I'm going to talk about that after this, because this is why we are doing this call to action. Because I'm just so excited about the the opportunities, the possibilities. We already got five people that have registered for the talent show. So I'm going to be doing a... Um, this is part of the marketing campaign, the build up to the 100th. So I'm going to be doing collabs with all of the five people and however they want me to back them up, be it I have to tap dance or play my trumpet or sing or beatbox or dance or whatever, however they use me in that capacity to bring out it to enhance their talent. So we're just kind of showing people what we're going to do in the talent show, but not necessarily that actual, you know, song they're just building up to it so i'm really wanting people to sign up definitely if you're going to be in st louis sign up i don't think we're going over 10. right now we got five so we got five spots left we're not going to be up in there all night doing talent because we still got karaoke to do oh boy and yeah and we're doing this great thing where it's like get to know a picasso it's more or less like i'm going to start posting pictures and if you know these people just by looking at the photo i need for you to send me the video and say how do you know that that person and where did you meet them and then we'll post that in your video on the show and you'll get an opportunity to win something so i'll be posting all the little details for that but it's something for all of us and the picassos to do to just build up So I just want to make sure everybody sees that call to action, especially if you have something that you want to donate and give to us. Andy, I don't know if you got a chance to put up Cicely's P.O. Box um, address. I put it in the thing right after this. If not, I'll put it out later. We have 10 weeks leading up to it, and I'm definitely going to add it to this in the uh, post. But I want people to start sending things to Cicely's P.O. Box, be it their business card or some pamphlets. Uh, whatever it is that you may want to promote your business, if you can't necessarily donate some trinkets and stuff, you can send it to, uh, not to me. Sorry, and it was uh, Cicely's P.O. Box that I had put in there with Artsy by Design. We can throw it up later. Don't worry about it right now. I'm going to keep it pushing. Quick, uh, well, I'm going yeah. inter- to interrupt you. Uh, your, your dear friend, uh, Miguel Goico says, hey, Chris and B-flat, miss you guys. Haven't seen Miguel in a minute. And it's funny because I have an email. I ain't even. I thought I hit send. This that weed, and it didn't go out yet. Cause that, that is that weed. <laughs> I got my next painting set up over here that I'm gonna do for Miguel. So I was sent him. A, well, I was sending an email saying, "What's your favorite colors? What's your theme?" Because I want to do something especially for you. So I took down the big one. It's box ready to go. I got my easel set up with the painting on it for Miguel. So yeah, I didn't hit the send button. It's still in the draft. Because I was like, what the fuck? You know, that's that weed. And I don't know why I have a tendency to look at shit without my glasses on, Chris. I'm still in denial. It's okay. Moving on. We're supporting you here. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, I got to keep it pushing so I can do my cash app dances for all my... That's right. I feel like it's going to be a record-breaking night. I feel like people are are trying to spend those dollars. They appreciate that you showered. The hair looks great. And I did more than the hot spots. Make sure, shit. make sure you reward B for all of her efforts. <laughs> the oh, the front, of the favorite. cover of the Sears catalog here in front of us. I have never showered as much as I did in these last three days. I, I'm not even gonna lie. I've taken three baths and five showers. I've been working. What do you begin into? Just working out and stuff. Working hard, cleaning up my best friend's house, the one that passed away, mm, and yeah. we stayed. And it just a lot of work. I finished up this morning. So yeah. next photo, Andy, you know, Chris, we'll chat all day. This is what I'm talking about. Mark met Sicily. See how Picasso's me. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. You, you think I would focus on the obvious, the, the Linnell shirt, right? No, 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 yes. no, 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 no. How about that gator skin, thin belt? <laughs> That's what I'm talking no, about. Lay about that. Yeah. What? The hat is all. You know, Mark, don't the play hat, about 
Yes. The feather, the glasses, there it's all great, but nothing compared. The pants are incredible. That's yes. those are some mustard pants. That's some uh that's some I mean, banana pants. Works for the nail. So you I know. know. You got to yeah, you got to do it. But man, the belt, the belt right. brings it together. Yeah. A, it's a Cayman crocodile belt. That's it. I, whatever. I it's, even know a little there's a little oh, baby know. a little baby crocodile. See, Chris, that's how I know you know nice stuff. See, because I don't wear stuff like that. You know, I'll be wearing animal stuff. So I, I just like it's nicely coordinated, and I'm just glad he's with my soror. And of the course, next shout episode, out to Sicily. Sicily, you're 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 great too. But I just had to focus. Um, shout out to Sicily and her husband. They got a chance to meet Lunell. So that's the next photo. And you know, I love Lunell. So shout out to Chris and Sicily. I was like, this wow. is what's up. Love when Picasso's get to me. That's awesome. Yeah, and just pull it all together. So that was a thank you, Mark. Thank you, MM, for sending those photos in. I definitely had to give him a shout out. And of course, Chris, the never ending Cash App battle. And Candace Perry is right behind Miguel. She cashed at me Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and Monday and Tuesday. She hit she doing like your boy. Cause you know he on that three times a day, two times a day. She about to, <laughs> but I love it. I can't. I love that people wake up and their first thought is to cash at me and say, "Dance, <laughs> believe me." Between Kathy L and Verna, when I when I look at the times that they send it, like first thing in the morning, I'd be like, and I hit them right back. I'd be like, "Okay, on a Saturday at six a.m., you're from." <laughs> I appreciate that. Right. So that lets me know people are looking forward to tighten up Tuesday. So, of course, a shout out to LeVette, Sherry K, Phyllis, who always sends in money for it. Now she's on the on the website and the 100th. Cheryl Merrill, love they it. on the, we are sending money for the website. And I just love that people are supporting the Picassos to get to St. Louis. The things that we have to pay for. You know, I'm going to be posting our events, what we're doing. Every, you can go on the website and look at it. Y'all know where to go, bflat.com, bphlat.com. I'm okay. so excited to say that. Uh, look at that mighty fist. I feel like I should be holding a pig, Chris, and doing like this in the back of your hair. The mighty fist. You'd run, you'd run a pick through this hair? No. You, you got to do a man bun or something, Chris, before you... <laughs> Go out. Uh, are you going to make an announcement? No, no. You're not. Oh, you don't know or no? Did you no, say, I, oh, no, or I don't, I don't know? I don't have any announcements. I have a big weekend ahead of me, but. No, you no. got a big announcement about your hair. No announcement. <laughs> That's no announcement. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Well, Chris, you don't, I'm going to tell you, Maddie is a fan of you in a man bun. Oh, so at okay. that point, if Key want to come out with one of them big. Mail package rubber bands. <laughs> She's easy in the room. Yeah. Because she loved to come out and straighten your hair before the show, during the show, after the show. You know, she don't care. If Key want to jump out there and throw you up in a man bun, Chris, I'm telling you, man buns are sexy. You think so? Yeah, man. Not the ponytail. I'm talking about up on the top, looking like, you know what it looks like? It looks like a great balance between the the male and the feminine side of a man. It shows that they're strong enough to be like, I can wear me a bun, and it looks like you do yoga, and like you're at peace. Mm. When I see people with, with the bun, I was like, oh, they're kind of at peace with themselves. They probably get up, you know, eat dry broccoli in the morning and shit and do yoga. <laughs> Fruity, I was going to say, broccoli. yeah, I, I kind of ate like that today, so maybe I should. Maybe I should. Yeah, I agree. If we can get a man bun going on before the show ends. See, I, I, I see a man bun and I think annoying. <laughs> oh, well, I can get that from a man's point of view, but from a female's point of view, most women like men, bun, man bun. Yeah, All right. Well, maybe Key will sneak back in. We'll see. You never know. So um, with that being said, you know, I got to do my cash app dance. I got to do the hot spot. And guess what else, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> the hot spot will never not make me laugh. My God. Uh, what else? Your favorite. The Jane. The Jane Tubman. My God. Did somebody special order it? Special order for the Jane. I guess it's for Black Music Month, but for the struggles that we went through in Black music. 
I'm yeah. just that's what I'm gonna say it's for. There it is. From well, all, let's go. Oh. For, all, for all those Motown deals, dance it out. Uh, oh, oh no, look at her go! <laughs> oh no. B flat hot spot. Oh my. Leave that leave that flash rag out for company. Let's see if they can tell when they pick it up. <laughs> Kathy agrees with the man bun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. Here she comes. Signifying the strength and all. Way to go, B. Oh wow, really standing up for the cleaning of the culture. Joy wants a lace front man bun. MM saying that poor flash rag. Makisha is having a good time. You ain't you ain't me or Jane had to hit the hot spot oh. in the outhouse back in the day. Mm. Got to look around and see, and dip it in there, and wring the rag out, and keep it pushing. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't right. You know I ain't right in my. I'd be jumping in the <laughs> river ever. Man, you think about that. If I was in the comments, my name should be sick in the head. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. No one would would take that up. Mm. I want to make sure. Lunge, Bun Zeeble, everybody's having a good time. Sandra yeah. asks, what's wrong with her? We don't know. Uh, they know we, I'm trying to get a check. Oh, that's right. Uh, She's, <laughs> that's right. I'm trying to get a check. So when the people come and see, they go like, oh, yeah, she's certifiable. We ain't right. got to bring her in. We can we give have her a, a we have a plan in place. Whenever they show up, they hit me up, and I go, "Yeah, I got all the footage here. Just Thank review, you. review ninety episodes." And give me a SSI or whatever they call. It. I don't know what the crazy check is, but I need one. I agree. <laughs> I don't need the medication. I just need to check. That's right. So there you have it. Um, last shout out. I think I got almost everyone's mailing address for the um, your pack of flash rags i'm just waiting on mine to come my sample pack the black one i already got the other ones but i'm interested in using the black one which i think should have been the first color considering i'll be messing up all of these with makeup you now know that you saying? now that you've kind of got your flash rag situation sorted do you think we're gonna have yeah. another a big big rush again we are gonna have a big rush again right before right before the festival everybody's gonna want them for the festival Everybody's going to want them from the festival. I've already confirmed that they're super soft and ready to go. So I want my people that, you know, got to get theirs. John, get them out to theirs. And as soon as he says it's a go, which I know like, in a few days, I'm like, oh, yeah, Flash Rags is back on the right. back in business. That's right. So Don't forget that. it. Exactly. Um, do we have any comments or anything before I jump into the DYK? Oh, so many of them. Tanya Prince is back. Hasn't been, says, forgot about Tut. Hey, everyone. Uh, welcome yeah, back, Tanya. I was a couple people I can name. I haven't heard from them a lot. In, yeah, in and you know, people come in forever. See, I would like to order one Chris with a man bun. Thank you. <laughs> I'm telling you, Chris. I, I'm telling you. I, yeah, for, forever see, I, I'll, I respect that opinion. <laughs> Missy Shoe, you can take that for what it's worth. Uh, MM saying hey to Sandra. Makisha's in the house. I said that earlier. Candy uh, says SSI. Yeah. Missy Shoe yeah. said sophisticated ignorance. Love it. Uh, Pac yeah. 93 yeah. is having a good time. Uh, Shania saying stop. I love this show. Uh, Danielle laughing. And MM says don't ring it out. Don't ring that flash rag out that you were dancing <laughs> with. Somebody may pay extra for that. <laughs> that's old school Chris when you gotta ball it up and do it like that oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you walk like this if, if you haven't yet share the stream up. let's get some new folks in here Devin's in the house yeah. Claron, yeah. M. Gabrielle yeah. Ms. Michelle, Cheryl Su Cheryl's a supper fan shout out to Cheryl who sent me a really nice email 
Is Cheryl the supper fan? Yes, Miss Paulette. And she sent uh, a new picture of it spelled right. She said her husband. It was so funny, and I'm going to read that next week. But great, that's great. Send me new pictures, <laughs> and oh I was gosh. like, "Hey, what's up?" Because I got to put a print them out and put them in the scrapbook. That's stuff for the scrapbook. Mm. So there you have it. Um, well, are you ready to jump into my DYK? Boy, am I! I tell you what, it's an exciting no. time. Love the segment. It's a it's a fan favorite. What do you got? Well, since we're celebrating first in Black history. Since this is Black Music Month, I'm giving a shout out and love to Sugar Hill Gang. And Chris, I'll never forget when I saw them, I was in the fourth grade and they were on American Bandstand. And I was sitting in the middle of St. Clair in the country in a trailer on the floor in front of the TV like, what the hell is that? What is happening? Yeah. And I was like, I like that. Yeah, and then it was that from that point on. That's when hip hop took over the world. Wow. Just from that moment. So let me read about the Sugar Hill Gang. Everybody know Chris. Do you know Rapper's Delight? Not not <laughs> the entire. At, at one point, I could I could sing along with it if I heard it. I couldn't do it from memory. But, but I mean, do you know how it starts? Uh, yeah. What you hear is not a test. That one. Yeah, that that one? One? yeah, 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 um, and then, and then oh, eventually, you, then eventually, it gets to the. Did you ever go to a friend's house and <laughs> the macaroni? <laughs> that was always the part where I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm it's got to We're at six I minutes. Know, you know. Most, uh, that song is like twelve minutes long. Most people don't even hardly know the whole second verse, but everybody knows the first. So verse. long, especially the songs now. But yeah, absolutely. So do you know the hip hop? Hip, hip it to the hip. hip. Yep. And what what movie made that? Because that was on a soundtrack to a movie when I was probably in the mid to mid late nineties. Made it kind of popular again. I don't remember. But yeah, I know that Wedding Singer. That is exactly right. Shout oh, out to okay. Andy. Yeah, that's when I fell in love with rap. Yeah, that did it. <laughs> Isn't that funny? However many years later, Wedding Singer yeah. made made it popular to a, you know thirteen year old kids in the rural areas. Living legend. So, Andy, you can go on and throw the picture up of Wonder Mike, Big Bank, Hank, and Master G. <laughs> so, here's a quick note on the hip on the Sugar Hill Gang. Rap may not have reached the masses. Let me get my mic. I didn't even realize my mic was way over here. I want people to hear this. Rap may not have reached the masses if it weren't for the New Jersey bred hip hop group, the Sugar Hill Gang. Wonder Mike, Big Bank Hank, and Master G released Rapper's Delight in 1979, which became the first rap single to become a Billboard Top 40 hit. The song immediately took the underground sound of hip hop from the Bronx, where it originated, to mainstream America, where it became the first rap song to sell more than one million copies. It also apparently was the first hip hop single to go diamond, diamond selling more than five million copies. So there you have it wild go rappers delight and it'll go down in history and people will be singing it 100 years from now it's a fan favorite people do it at the weddings family reunions any type of gathering you know where block parties that kind of stuff where you know you want to just keep it fun and old school and like and then even the young kids be like hip hop yeah hippity. so it's fun but shout out to you, okay? Uh, MM fell in love with rap because of MC Hammer and Joy okay. is ac- Joy is accusing MM of having the pants too. Probably did <laughs> he happen. had the pants on. Oh, he she talking about uh she pants. Talking about the hammer pants. Yeah, Mark looked like he probably used to rock hammer pants back in the day. Back then I could not stand them pants, but I love hammer pants now. Hammer was like, huge. Yeah, but when I used to see people wearing them hammer pants, oh, I was like, eh, it's tacky. I just thought it was tacky. Because right. I was so bougie and I was so polo, you know, yeah. coach. And when everybody else was wearing like dickies and hammer pants and devil jeans. Chris, you don't know nothing about devil jeans. No, I don't. What are they? Jeans with a devil emblem on the back that everybody used to wear. They only sold them at this one store called Rozelle's back in the day. But yeah, people used to rock devil jeans and stuff that I wouldn't wear. It was like a city thing. 
of city course. county you know they dress different so yeah. but that was back in the day everybody do their thing now all right that was interesting dyk bringing it to a little bit more of a modern one what do I we have next you, i have well you know i'm getting excited because three weeks from now i will be in florida me and Chante at dr kim's flip and her Zoom on a gator meeting. hunt uh don't chris now you about to jinx me because this this is what's gonna happen a baby gator gonna crawl past her drive i mean her back lawn while we out there trying to do something i'm gonna take a picture and blame it on you and i ain't trying to see and then that's gonna be the end of her flip and then i'm gonna have to refund her her money and then i'll be like damn i could have put that on the bill you grab but, one sell it to mark he'll make some boots out of it oh i might have to sell the nfts if i see a uh an alligator or some crazy shit. but don't don't jinx me like that chris i already got to get there land safely and work hard in three spaces but that's the funny thing about her flip out it's going to be the easiest to me the only challenge i know is going to be painting her metal but in terms of flipping stuff because she has so much to work with and she has so many skilled people that are helping yeah I can put people on assignment and not really have to be laboring over them and saying, oh, do, do. so I'm glad that our Zoom meeting is coming up for that. And then two weeks after that, you know, I'm going to be in Dallas. And that's where it's going to be challenging at Daphne's. In a busy has, month. Even though I'm in that one space, she has less to flip. And I'm really trying to keep our costs down. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. we have more things that we do have to buy. And I'm hoping that we can make. But one thing I'm looking forward to is just getting there getting it done, revealing it all in August, those two flips and just, you know, keeping it pushing. And it's funny, I got a couple more calls about some more flips. So shout Not out you. to Miss in Atlanta. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm looking forward to those. I'm looking forward to the Bacassos that want to help in Dallas. Our dates are Ju uh, July 21st to the 23rd. And the Bacassos that want to help in Florida in the Fort Lauderdale, I mean, not Fort Lauderdale, the West Palm Beach area, even though they're not that far apart. Yeah. So that's um, July 7th through the 10th, three weeks from now. So I'm really, like, focused. So With a, with one, a pH. One, yeah, it's funny because one of the ways that I really got focused and had to get focused in these last three days is going in and staging Movita's house. People saw when I did her memory boards and all that mm -hmm. stuff her son lives in la but he's back tonight and i just had to really go in there and clean just so he could stay there plus i know he and stage it i had to really do a lot of staging so that he can um rent it out he has a couple people that want to come and see it and rent it for a little i don't know what a short amount of time or not knowing buddha his ass might want to just be like you know what ain't nobody gonna live here i'm gonna stay here when i come back let it be that my happens. spot yeah when i come you know live be between philly and la so i spent three days cleaning this whole house from top to bottom and it's a lot so i'm showing the basement next week because that was a whole nother thing and i just want people to understand that movie was a cat lady rest in peace and i didn't go in there much because she knows how i feel about cats and she had a lot y'all know how i feel about cats so i've been on her for 25 plus going on 30 years actually now that i think about it and being over there and cleaning that house i was like this is why i don't have cats and it's so funny because all the clothes that i came on in i just took them off at the back door threw them in the trash was walking through the house naked because i felt like when, cat hair is hard to come out chris and if you wash it it still get on the other clothes that's in the washing machine you yeah no nah, i threw all that shit away i threw it all away draws and all and i don't never wear draws but i put draws on because I knew I was going to be sitting on the floor and digging up under stuff. And I was like, I got to have some extra on protect my coochie. So I was like, hey, do it. so I'm going to show everybody how I flipped Movita space. I took some things there to stage it. I made a list of my 27 things that I'm going to need back. And because he's doing a couple walkthroughs and I took a whole bunch of stuff, which you'll see at the end. But I took a lot of things over there, left them, and just really dug in. Because in August, her her family were all pitching in to paint the whole house and really fix stuff for whoever's going to move in. Because he's planning to do it in September. 
So I have July and August are very busy months for me. So more or less three flips. So this is me cleaning, staging, and doing what I got to do. So these are before and afters. So this is the living room before when you walk in. And the next photo shows another angle of the living room. So the next photo shows what I did and I'll explain to people. So this is how I staged it. I really tried my best to put that door back on the closet there in the living room and it wouldn't work because the hinge is stuck in there. So now I know why it's off. And then this table was upstairs in the uh, her office. I was like, I'm going to pull all this together. I bought some extra pillow covers that I had in an extra pillow to stuff those pink pillows in. I moved the lamp over and just kind of, you know, I put a, a my own area rug down. And that stool I'm going to show in the BIY, but I found it in the trash, two of them. And I worked on them, cleaned them up good and put them in her house. So the next photo shows where I took, she had two curtains hanging uh, to separate the dining room from the living room. So I took one off and nailed it right up in the circles over that closet area. And I moved, I moved that chair and I put a, moved one of my little gray covers. Actually, I just folded her pink pillow in half and stuck it inside of that just so I could, you know, yeah. look like a little, I forgot what those are called. Um, for your back, lumbar, lumbar pillow. Mm. And then I moved the, I cleaned all of that and everything. It was cat hair, all the cats used to live in the back of that fireplace. So I had to clean oh, all man. of that out. Yeah, and wipe and dusted everything. Just put it at an angle so it could be more of a walkway because that glass tabletop is big. And it actually, when I put it in there, it clamped down on my thigh. So I have a big bruise on my knee. From where my because I had to bend down and do it, it's it probably weighs about 50 pounds. So as I was sliding it down the steps and put it in there, I had to, you know, just kind of do my best. And it caught my knee between the glass and that black part. It's hazardous, B. Hazardous, but you know, it got to get done. I, this is the Lord's work. People don't know these are things that have to be done when people pass away. And like nobody yeah. in her family kicked in to do this, they wanted to use the house as a pizza party. And I'm like, no, we shutting this down. I got the key. We got this. So the next right. photo shows this was the angle, like what it used to look like when you from the living room looking into the dining room. So as you see, there was like a piece of black. I don't know what that is that they had hanging, but I took it down and put it in the kitchen. And as you see, the curtain panel, that's the one I replaced and put it over the door. So the next photo shows the new angle. Oh, wow. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. So that there's a couple that painting is on borrow because that's a commission painting. <laughs> <laughs> and I told him, I was like, that's a borrow. And the next photo shows um, that wall. That's the dining room. And then we'll just jump right to the next fo photos because I want to let people know that that painting of that hill is the last photo Mo and I did when we all went like as a big family friend thing to like one of those painting sips. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. yeah so that was her first painting she ever did. She never painted in life. So she was so proud of it, she hung it up. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna hang that right up in there next to my painting. Yeah. So that's what the dining room looks like now. Very nice. The before in the kitchen. And it just I cleaned out the cabinets, wiped everything down threw away food and, you know, just stuff in the refrigerator, old messy stuff and just really cleaned up, got on my hands and knees and wiped that floor up. Yeah. And I know I threw away probably about nine to 10 cleaning rags because I couldn't get the cat hair out. So I was like, I'm just going to throw this in the trash. So I brought, I cut up old towels and just made cleaning rags. So the next photo shows the back door. And I was like, I got to get this together. We can't have it hanging up like that. Although nobody oh, can see it other and her neighbor that's right across from her, they share the same deck. But I was like, we got to get this together. So this next two photos just show the after. Oh, so wow. this is after I really thoroughly cleaned the kitchen. Thank you, Chris. I actually put an area rug down. And that was a machine that uh, I think, I don't know what it was for. I think it was maybe a breathing machine. But that was in the window in the dining room. So I actually took that out and just put it in the kitchen because it was too heavy for me to put it in the basement. But yeah, that door leads to the basement and I'll show that stuff next week. That was a whole nother process. So <clears throat> the next photos, I'm just kind of moving up the steps. Right. 
Yeah, it's just a quick photo of the bathroom, I think. Yeah, this was before. And I just came in and really did a thorough cleaning and just kept it neutral. I used my old, um, some flowers left over from Alfie stuff and Barbados just to kind of stage the little vases. And those vases are just glass jars I use for little flower buds. Wow. And then she had a little basket I found. I just folded up some towels and I just cleaned everything like crazy. So nice of you. Yeah. There on the floor. I was like, oh, not the dead mouse. So I found two dead mice. Oh, no. <laughs> Yes, I had to get that up. So I just put, I left a note for Buddha in terms of like where everything is, but I just put all, through old stuff away and put everything that he may need just in the medicine cabinet and toilet paper and all the other stuff is just right under the sink. Towels are folded up right on the top thing. It's a laundry basket in there and a nice little bit of trash can. Just keep it clean and simple. I actually put a rug down, but I did all that this morning. Wow. Next photo shows her bedroom. This was the before and it was really dirty. This, I just thought I had to put a mask on. There's no lie. Uh, these are two different angles and I just really, I washed the floorboards, the walls, all of that, the cat hair off the bottom of the base. It was just thick. And I was like, I can't believe, but they ran amok before somebody came to take care of them. Yeah. And took yeah, so I get it because she couldn't take care of them. But I was like, I'm going to get this together for Buddha so he can sleep here in peace and feel good about the space. So the next photo shows the bedroom and how I just, yeah, I washed all that. Those are things I brought from my house. That blanket was there. I found that blue bank blanket and threw it at an angle and some pillows and things. And that rug was actually at her entry rug in, in the in the living room. Just moved some pictures around and just really kind of brought it together. The next photo just shows a different angle. So I Much just moved. more peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. She had those paintings hanging in the dining room all together on one wall. I just broke them up. I found that empty frame. It's pink and a broken cat. I was like, you know, nobody would even know that if I didn't say anything about it. I found that blue lampshade in the basement. I was like, you know what? I'm going to pull all this together. And just really clean it up. So that's her bedroom now. And then the next photo shows the office. And I was like, this is a mess. Mm. Yeah, that's where the table is. That's the base. That's where it, it, it adds up quick. You know, you're not I able know. to take care of stuff. It, yeah, it gets away from you. It gets away from you. Especially when you're not physically capable of doing yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and the next photo just shows another angle. So I just got this stuff in order because that's why Buddha is coming through to go through all the mail. I separated all the old stuff from the new stuff, you know, just threw away things that were necessary, piled up the clothes, you know, put them in the basement in terms of things that he may want to keep. Some stuff I just really didn't go through. I just put it, made it neat. That's what the next photos show. That's everything I put. I separated all pictures in one bin, all mail in one bin, and just like knickknack stuff in another bin. And I put like rubber bands around like large stuff and just to get it organized. So when he goes through it, he knows what he's working with. Mm -hmm. And I had to clean just, you know, everything off everything. Make sure the laptop worked because I know he's going to bring a chair in there and probably do some stuff. But he has to go through his, still go through his mom's stuff. I just wanted to. And then there, that spot on the floor, I had to clean up all the cat mess. It was like a pile of cat doo doo. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tell people you can put, I put down OxyClean. As an, and some baking soda and like made a paste, put the fan on it and it soaked it all up. It was like bubbly. And I scooped it. I scraped it with the shovel that they have in the basement, got it up, mopped that section and then sprayed it with Lysol. It smells wonderful in that place. It just smells amazing. I've got some diffusers burning and different things like that. And that room, that's what I went to check on this morning, just to see if the smell that in the basement kind of dissipated and it did that oxyclean works wonders so uh stacy yeah. and this could be helpful for everybody uh would you would you get background on whose house this was it was my best friend movita of 30 years uh who was a business partner of mine we when i quit my job she was backing me she was like i'm coming to work with you at your house and actually that table right there is from my old house on nelson street from like 30 years ago 20, about, about 30 years ago. And I gave it to Mo 
when she decided she was going to start working from home, I was like, well, you can have this desk. And she's kept it ever since. Wow. So, yeah. So, um, and I put those shelves up from her. I told you I only been in there three times in my whole life. But I put them shelves up and her desk, that's where she wanted it. It looked different back in the day because it was a whole desk office set up. Now I'm talking about 97. You see what I'm saying? And that used to be Buddha's room. And then he moved down into the basement because he felt like I'm becoming a teenager. You know, and he wanted his own space. And Mo wanted an office. Yeah. So, but now when he moved out, you know, she moved back up there and set that up as an office. And I didn't know how she had it set up because I hadn't been over there in a while because she was actually working, had a real, real job. So, yeah. She always had a real job, but she always found the time to travel with me. And set up for my one woman shows and just we would do trips together and all kinds of stuff. We was always making money. And Mo was always checking the money. She kept her purse handy. So <laughs> I'm telling you, everybody said that at the funeral. But yeah, I went in because he's an only child. He lives in LA. Mm. So he doesn't get a chance to come home much to handle things. So when he did, he stayed with different families because he couldn't stay in the house. And he stayed at a hotel. So I was like, I'm gonna get this together for him so that when he does come home, he can stay here and feel comfortable until he figures out what he's doing with it. And now he got a plan. So there you have it, voila. And I just wanna thank everybody for letting me share. And this is just all build up. You know, this is how it's looking now in terms of how I come in and flip stuff. And we, I didn't buy nothing. I just, Worked with what she had, but what I had, I went in, took a lot of pictures and just kind of studied the pictures and figured out what I could work with and what I could do within my limits in three days to get it done. And it was like a 10 hour day. So this just shows you all the stuff that I took over there to just kind of stage thing. I packed it all up, my vacuum cleaner, just everything, the you know, toolbox, everything that I thought I would need over there. And then the next two photos shows you what I was working with. So that's when I moved a radiator. And that piece of wood wow. was back there. I was like, there's all kind of shit back here. Yes. I was like, this has to get cleaned up. And that came from under the bed. <clears throat> all from under the bed. I was sliding that big, heavy ass bed back oh and forth. That's, remember, Chris, I told you my back hurt. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. That's why I took two baths of soap mm. and some leave. I was knocked out. And I was like, Lord knows I need to be working on Picasso stuff and getting back to Kiki. But I said, at the same time, I'm not going to let it eat me up. I'm doing the Lord's work. This has to be done. And I feel good and I feel at peace because when he walks in there, he's going to be like, he's landing like now, really, from te from L.A. Yeah. And when he walks in there, he's going to be amazed. I just know it. And I'm going to feel job, And I cut the grass. And Movita got a big ass heel. And I was like, oh, all in one day. I was like, oh, I am tired. I wore oh, myself sure. out. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I had to so clean up fun. the yard, the trash. Oh, it was a dead mouse outside because when Dennis was helping me, he's like, you see that dead mouse on the steps? I was like, yes, I'm going to get it. That's before I saw the one in the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it was a lot. But you know what? It was worth it. It definitely was worth it. So I feel good about that. I'm glad that I did that because that's what I do. I help the folks who can't help themselves. That is, if we should all have a B in our life. Very nice B. We do all have a B in our life. That's right. Tune in here every Tuesday. It's, there you have it. She's all yours. So with that being said, now you know I'm ready to jump into my feature. Oh, you've got a feature tonight. And you know it. Mm. Oh, Lord. I forgot about my B.I.Y. It's almost 10 o'clock. You know what, Andy? That's because I went into Movita's thing and... That's I all right. really, I'm actually going to have Andy show just where I found these three pieces and then we'll go. I'm going to save my paintings for next week. How I boxed them all up, and made my own box for that big ass painting. They got to get out of here. And I checked on the shipping and everything today at the post office. They was like, you're going to have to take that to UPS or FedEx. <laughs> I was like, I figured that, but I just had to ask because I had to ask them some questions in terms of the packing and the fragile components of it so anyway i want to just show those first three biy pictures because i found this in the trash and i was like i'm going to get that i was like i don't know what i'm gonna do with it and that was the base 
but I'm keeping those pieces. I wasn't able to put that on. So I had to take the wooden dolls that were out, that were in the legs and snip them off and sand them down so they could be level and sit on her floor because I couldn't figure out how to get that base back on. So the next photo just shows me probably being frustrated and just trying to figure that out. But I was like, I don't know who threw these away. I was like, I'm getting them. So I was coming home from the post office and I grabbed them right up and cleaned them up really good and aired them out and took them right to Mo's house so she could have some egg because she never had like some, you know, some seat where you can kick your feet up. Yeah. So the next photo, I think just, yeah, that's how I had to fix the legs and it shows where I snapped the wooden dowels off and I'd like sand them down and glue them together because they were wobbly and that was just my way of keeping them level and making sure the glue holds. So, but yeah, I found those in the trash. So I was like, yeah, I got those together. I cleaned them up well. So Andy, I'm going to save my DIY in terms of how I made my photos. I mean, how I boxed up my frames for Cicely's photo and the St. Clair photo. I'm going to save those for next week. I'm moving them straight to that drive because I definitely want to talk to Carla. It's no way... I can discredit her discount or dis do her a disservice by letting letting her have her time on here. So uh, if people didn't hear me earlier, and if you just logged on and you're joining us, Carla is a kindred spirit. It's amazing how we met over the phone through a person who connected us in Atlanta who kept saying, you remind me of my friend from St. Louis, and we're both from St. Louis. So it's crazy how she came to the show and she knows the other person that's sponsoring that's letting us have our, you know, our karaoke party and our open mic at their place. And I was like, this is crazy just how the universe works. So with that being said, I want to bring on Carla Palmer from Elevate the Good. Hey, Carla. Elevate the Good. Elevate the Good. Elevate the Good. Elevate the Good. What's up, y'all? Hey, Carla. How are Hi, you, beautiful? I have I a bone to pick with Chris. I have a bone to pick real quick. So last week when you were talking about me and you were about to, you know, give me a little shout out and you was like, yeah, Carla Palmer. And Chris is like, well, who is Carla Palmer? I'm <laughs> Carla Palmer, Chris. How you doing? <laughs> first, first of all, first of all, wow, what a de- what a dead on impression. That sounded exactly like me. Oh, Wonderful no, it job. was exactly that. Right, I right, said, right. I said, and I said, he said, who is Carla Palmer? I was like, she's going to tell you in just a minute. <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes we have to look out for our friend B and we have to set the table so she makes sure to let people know. But I will, I will say... Maybe I was jealous of how great you two's friendship is. Maybe it was just bleeding through and I didn't even know it. See if you well, you know what, Chris? I welcome you. You come along. You can come yeah. with me. Come. If you, you can make the good with me. <laughs> That's right. But it was a reason why you were the, you were supposed to meet her on the show tonight. See, all things happen for a reason. Absolutely. Right. I hope Absolutely. I hope I hope we can come to terms on that, Carla. Thank you. Okay, Everybody I may even give you a shirt. I may even give you an Elevate the Good in the 314 shirt. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. See, Chris, that ain't number love for you right there. That ain't number love. What That's what I do. I Elevate the Good all the time. Okay. I can use that. that shirt on and a man bun. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. Do it. Do it. Wow. You think, you think the lady's on you now? I'm just saying. So. Okay. All With right. that being said, DM's full. Very impressed. Carl and I have been on the phone talking like we've been girlfriends. It's so funny how we know a lot of the same people. And she was talking about, do you know someone so texted me? I was like, girl, yeah, they used to throw the bomb parties back in, <laughs> in 87. <laughs> so it's crazy how we never met, but it's funny how girls and guys are. Like, you might know all the other guys at other high schools, but you don't know none of the girls. And that's how it is at parties. You might know, like, if we, our paths probably would have never crossed, and I'm sure we were all at the same parties. But women don't oh, be yeah. talking to there to be like, who the basketball player? Who the football player? Who on the t-? You know, that's how it was. But tell the truth, though. We went to rival schools, too, so we really couldn't yeah, hang out. And we, we, we dated know, somebody from the other school. You had to sneak and date them. <laughs> We had the sneak and date, and that's what we talked about. So it's so yeah. funny. How 
you know a lot of the same people that are actually like partnering with what we're doing so it's yeah. amazing when I called her, I was like, I put you on the list. She was like, girl, you ain't got to put me on the list. Terrence put me on the list already. I ain't know you knew Terrence. See? I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so it's we just one of kickball together. <laughs> it's kind of just like how you and Kim. When Kim was like, hey, why you didn't tell me you knew Chris? I mean, Chris, why you? I ain't know you knew Terrence. Remember when we pulled up and Terrence came out and Kim Whitley knew Terrence? Yes, was, from from a yeah, previous yeah. show or something. Yeah, exactly. It's just amazing how God works. Because I was all like, put them on the parking. I mean, on the sidewalk. And she was like, I don't really know. But I'm so glad she went because when Terrence came out and put her on the sidewalk, she was ready, and we kicked it after that. See what I'm saying? It's all, it's so it's all about universal. That's all I got to say. Shout yeah. out to him. And it's amazing how we connected through Carla. I'm glad that she came to the show brought me a nice little swag bag of her products. Not only did she do that, we had great conversation and she jumped on board, sent me the invoice back in terms of her in-kind donation, what the amount and the value is, how she just elevates the good by one, marketing and branding everything that she does, making everything that she does. Let me get my spray out my refrigerator. Come That's on, girl. Fine. Look, I got mine too. Look, no, you got about the coochie, you got to get the people. underarm, you got to get all uh, of it. Yeah, I uh, know, uh, girl. You need it. Look, we could combine this with the flash rag, spray the rag, and then wipe yourself down. Come on, Chris. You need to get in on it. You know, you need to do this. No, you can get them under the balls. Under Go the spray. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Come on. Awesome. You need some hot and sweaty. Come on. Yeah. Okay. You're, you're, real, you're a real friend right out of the gate. Thank you. That's what so, I do, baby. <laughs> the thing that I love about Carla after speaking with her, because I've had a few conversations with Picasso's in terms of we're all entrepreneurs in terms of trying to build our community, build our network, sustain, yeah. brand yeah. ourselves, market ourselves. And a lot of people feel as though that part is hard when it comes to designing your own thing. I've had people say, what app did you use to make that? And the funny thing is, I said, Carla got to come on here and tell people because she's not a designer. I'm a designer. But what she does, she uses the same things that I use. That lets you know that they're very user friendly and any regular old person can do that. And when she told me, I was like, girl, you got to come on the show because you do your own labels. You make your own products. You do your own shirts. You do everything in-house from making the product, designing the product, making the product, packaging it, putting it together, everything, printing yeah. everything. I was like, that's what we do. And other people need to hear it from, not just from my point of view, because they know that's what I do from regular folks. Carla is a model. Right. Right. That's what we do for a living, been modeling. And I'll let her go into that because I'm about to stop. But my point is she's not a designer, but she, if you looked at her shit, you would be like, you would think she hired a graphic person to do her thing. She's like, oh, no, I use Canva. Just like I told yes. Lynette, Canva is so simple to use as I love it. free. And if you, you ain't even got to upgrade. I upgrade because I do have to upgrade, though. I do. I do have to upgrade. You don't but have to it, upgrade. You do not. You do not. Yeah. So I'm turning it over to you because I want you to, one, talk about the products that you're going to be showing on the on the uh that andy's about to flip through and then just your business and how you elevate the good and what you do in terms of all the products and what you make so with that being said i'm jumping off carla you thank got you it. i appreciate you so much i do want to say that this is an honor i am just super excited so we can go into the pics i can talk about my babies elevate the good shop it's, it's a shop online store where i sell all of my goodies i have um, all natural bath and body products and aromatherapy products. I have my merch, Elevate the Good kind of stuff. And Elevate the Good is a mantra that turned into a movement. I could talk about that in a minute. So Elevate the Good shows up on a lot of my products um, in terms of merchandising. And even my bath and body products are actually called Elevate the Good Essentials. And the reason why they're essentials is, again, they're all natural, no preservatives, no dyes, very minimal um, ingredients. So if you only need five ingredients to make a product, it's only five in there. I don't have like 20 different things and you can't even name what it is because our skin is our largest organ. And so I like to put on my skin what I put in my body. 
And I've been a vegetarian for 35 years. I've run marathons, so I'm very in touch with my body. And I understand that the mind, body, spirit, and everything that you think is all connected. So you have to be careful about what you put on your skin. And mm -hmm. so I kind of fucked around and started doing that during COVID. I was like, I need to find some way to make some more money. So I literally just was making stuff that I've been making for myself, like um, sugar body scrubs and uh, soaking salts and, you know, um, the, the sprays. Because a few years ago when I was going through the hot flashes, I needed something. So these are products I just have always made. And then I just started putting them out there. And people like, oh, I want it. I want it. So then I started creating, creating uh, gift boxes and swag boxes from these same products. So everything just keeps elevating i literally just fuck around and find out i'll have a concept and put it out text it to friends or put it up on the website and they're like oh i want that so really that's where the research and development and the and the, de the development side actually comes from my friends and my customers so um but i literally only use like this is a, this ooh, that's the elevated goodies that's what i'm giving to um the two winners okay um, uh, yes so yes, these are my infused products. So again, I was fucking around and finding out because I don't really do edibles. And when I did, I wasn't feeling anything. And then one of my girlfriends, she made some because she has a high tolerance and she made me feel groovy, baby. So I got into the infusion myself. <laughs> I, I, mean, I was, I was like, I was later like, what baby? Yeah, so I was like, let's do that. So I really just started fucking around and finding out. And then I was giving it to my friends. They love my products. So um, some people have actually gotten off their Ambien, their Xanax, you know, they sleep better at nighttime. I'm not saying I'm a doctor. I don't even put it out like that. I just give them what they ask for. I do brownies and, you know, cause I'm not even a baker, but I know that's the entree into the whole edibles world. But cause mm -hmm. I really do infuse like meals, like full courses, like salmon and lasagnas and chilies and breads and other things. But I will do, I come up with strawberry, strawberry, you know, blondies and lemon uh, blondies <laughs> and popcorn. I got a, a sea salt caramel and a cheddar cheese. So it's like that um, Chicago style mix. Oh, you see that shirt? I got elevated. Man, that's a yeah. camera. So I was literally, gonna... that's an well, example of that took well, me, I swear, maybe three minutes to make that because it popped up in my head and I put all the elements together. And the next thing you know, I have me a whole new product, texted to friends and they already bought two. Boom, baby. Can I ask what else is in that? Like, what's in the box? What's in the bag? What's so, in, in this bag? particular one that I would be giving to you, we have okay. Okay. white chocolate macadamia nut cookies. Then we have oh. that Chi Town um, popcorn I was telling you about, but I have a little oh. twist on it because mine is a sea salt caramel. And okay. then we have the strawberry blondie. So, let me tell you about that. So, the strawberry blondie. It is like a white chocolate type brownie, so it's not chocolatey, and it has infused strawberries, which are cooked mm -hmm. into it, infused sugar, infused flour, and then oh. I put some more infused strawberries on top after it cools down, and then I spread um, infused white chocolate and infused cream cheese on top. Baby! Baby! Oh. And you cannot eat it all at the same time. Do not yeah. eat one of my cookies at the same time. My friends told me we had a meeting. They were like, Carla, let's talk. You need to call those damn cookies 36 hour cookies. I was like, Well, I told you not to eat the whole damn cookie anime uh -oh. anyway. What about that? But that's a good, good testimony. You know? it's <laughs> but it's so delicious. And you had that popcorn, so you know you can't stop eating it. I was trying to save it to show everybody on show. Girl, I just showed the empty bag. That popcorn was good. I saw how you was flattening it out. I was good. good. It's very good. And I like when you can eat stuff and don't taste the weed in it. What? You know, I, have, I have perfected it. Yeah, and thanks to my partner also. Yeah, I have a partner, Yaman Taylor of Taylor Made Goodies in Atlanta. And so we be going down a rabbit hole together, like, try this. Okay, what you think about this? Let's do this. Like, so it's been so much fun just experimenting and bringing joy to people. Because I feel like I'm doing a community service. I really do. Because a lot of people um, have decided to try cannabis because they didn't want to smoke, but they trust me. And so they were like, let me try it. And it was just like, oh, so whatever that fear factor, it just left. 
you know, now they feel more comfortable, especially now Missouri is, uh, you know, recreational. So people are feeling like more comfortable, you know, going out and want to have events and stuff. And some people still want to be private. But, yeah, I'll do an event for you if you want to. I'll cook up some stuff or get a chef or whatever. And we're going to and we actually are traveling now. We're doing excursions. So we just had one in Florida, had a, a beach house. We did the whole all the meals are infused, breakfast, lunch, dinner, lemonades. It was nothing but the water. Was the only thing was not infused, and we're going to be doing one in Jamaica soon. So um, same thing, but I'm not going to be doing the cooking. I'm going to be relaxing and letting the chefs there, the local chefs, uh, hook us That's up. That's something I might want to be a part of. You may want. Yeah, to you need to come on. Yes. <laughs> and do you want to show her next basket? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I love these because you have that on. I definitely want one of those. They Thank you. Cute. Yes. Like so that. Elevate the Good is my baby. And when I came, I've been coming back and forth to St. Louis. I've been in Atlanta for 35 years. So I've been hanging out with my mom. I was trying to see if she need me and she looking like you in my way, but I'm here now. <laughs> and right. so I like to elevate the good no matter where I go. And then 314 Day came up. I'm like, I never even heard of it. So of course me, I came up with this product and people actually start buying it. And I'm like, and then black and gold, of course, is you city. You city. You I city. city. Yes. You got to represent now. Uh, what? <laughs> you have to let people know that you print these shirts. I you do. Have- so like you were saying, I use Canva to actually create the graphics. I have a Cricut machine where I actually cut the vinyl out myself. I actually purchase all of the actual inventory T-shirts or mugs or whatever I'm making. I have my own press. So I'm actually pressing them folding them, putting them in tissue paper, putting them in boxes, labeling it, everything from from design to delivery. That These are literally my babies. And like I said, even my website, I created my own website. Every letter, like all of these, this, this was a design that popped up in my head the other night. And I just had to do it and change just like that. that and so, so cool. um, thank you. Yeah, so it's been fun because for a long time, I've been in the business, even though in front of the camera, you're putting other people's businesses out there and I'm supporting mm-hmm. other people's businesses. And then as in other capacities, I help manage you know, other artists and I've done so many things. I wanted to find out what it is that I create and what I had in me that to, you know, I can you know, develop and mm-hmm. offer to the world. So that's why I keep saying I'm fucking around and flying, finding out. And I'm just selling everything but ass, y'all. Because I really just make stuff up and just having fun. I'm being honest. You know what I'm saying? I'm just having a good time. I'm 57. Look, and it feels good when people like your stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just been really rewarding. And like I said, I've been so random, but it's been I've been having a ball. Because my friends love my logos, my customers, like now all over the country, they wear like a uniform and these are their words, not mine. Cause they love the energy that it brings to them. People have good conversation, people high fiving. And I swear there's not a day that, cause I wear it every day, that someone does not give me a compliment or want to tell me a good story or something what- positive. And this is what it's about. It is a mantra that turned into a movement. You know, it's really a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle that's about you because I didn't even want to monetize this for a long time because I'm not into designer stuff with somebody's name on me. I ain't gonna do it. I'm just saying that's just me. However, it took me a while. So I was giving shirts away, giving away. I'm like, I'm gonna be broke. But eventually God was like, no, this was a gift. Cause even this logo to my eyes, just the way you're seeing it, woke me up, got on Canva. This is when I wasn't even as good as I am now. And I created this. And so uh, just the fact that Elevate the Good is a gift to the world. It's like people, my friends, like, well, can you make it red, black, and green? So they're designing their own version of Elevate the Good. That's just, you, y'all, I can't even explain to y'all, like, how that makes me feel. I am just so I, proud. And Missy, and Missy, the person who introduced yes. us, who were like, Carly, you sure you don't know me, flat? Y'all act just alike. <laughs> so <laughs> she is such a blessing. She is my hype man. I don't care what I say. I'm going to sell, make, give away. She has always lined up customers and support me. And I so I definitely want to give her her props because she elevates the good. Trust me. I like her style. She's already got me another sponsor. Yes. And another feature that does woodworking. Yes. I was like, oh. She That's is- community. That's yes. what that's about. Because I'm about building, I've been calling it a spiritual economy, but for me, it's now a spiritual commerce. And if you can give me a couple of minutes, because this is just something yeah. that means a lot to me. 
um, that has been developing over these years. And then I just did a event for some mothers who lost their children to violence. That's what it started off as. And I made these swag boxes with my, my um, bath and body products. And then I end up bringing in a lot of other contributors in locally from St. Louis to participate because these are friends that I found out like, oh, six months ago, you lost your son. Oh, a year ago, you lost your son. Like two months ago, I'm like, what is happening? So I wanted to do something because I felt powerless. I started making these boxes with my products. And then I'm like, but it needs to be more stuff. So I started getting contributors who, you know, full massages, full, you know, manicure, pedicures, flowers for your arrangements, because I end up having to hold, do a whole event to give them the boxes. So mm -hmm. the venue for the dinner was the Palomino Lounge up there in um, Del Mar Loop. He's, you know, gifted the space. Um, cupcakes from Apple of My Eye Sweet Treats. She came with the most gorgeous cupcakes. I mean, it was just like this love fest. And so that's what I like to call the spiritual economy. But I realized the word economy was even tripping me up because it's really a commerce. So I want to read it, if you don't mind, real quick. Elevate the Good LLC is becoming a beacon for a spiritual commerce that values authenticity, collaboration, partnership, reciprocity, kindness, integrity, trust, appreciation, love, and service to others for the greater good by connecting individuals, groups, organizations, businesses, and communities to shift their collective energies and resources towards a more harmonious and mutually beneficial world. Because at the end of the day, we are the currency and we have to remember that. that and that's so really is about getting back to your authentic self and remembering your power and that you elevate the good in yourself first so that you can be a help to someone else. Carla, I totally agree with you on that. And that's why the Picassos are a family. We're more, we're moving, right. but we're kind of like everything that we do is in house. Everything. Like, I don't even make a move unless I run things past Picassos because they built this show. They designed right. this show. They designed the website. Everything is in house. <clears throat> we don't need to go outside of the Picasso family to get anything done. If I need a designer or a writer, or some music, or just anything, right. it's always in-house. And that's what I love. Like everybody from my, they come and help at these different flips that I'm around traveling to do, Picasso's come and help. They don't know these people who else I'm going to, but because the community is there, we're loving, we're trusting, and we trust in the good and then the in God first. Don't nobody worry about, oh, somebody stole my necklace. We ain't never had that. I've never had people. We don't have right. that because nobody yeah. come. Ain't nobody coming with the attention to be. Nobody come to fix your house and steal something. So right. know that people are coming with a good heart and not just volunteering. And that's what I love about our community because you find out people have all these other skills they ain't even know they have, and then they're learning. Right, things. that's true. That's true. I'm learning things, and then it, it's just it's wonderful. And when this started out, this was my intention. But like I told you earlier, now everything I do is intentional, is, is specifically for Tighten Up Tuesday because for our nation. So if I got to hit the pavement, big tap dance to get our <laughs> donations, whatever, <laughs> right, right. I'm doing what I got to do because it's not about me. It's bigger than me. And I know I'm helping Trust a lot me. of people. So that's right. why I appreciate you coming on talking about. I just appreciate just meeting you three weeks ago. And I know just, it's been a blast ever since. It's like everything we do is alike, you know, in terms yeah. of our running. Just that's probably why Missy was like, Oh my God, you got to meet. She's like, I'm calling Carla right now because you need to. And she did too. Oh, she did. She I did. Know, I know what? I'm, I'm on the phone. I got to call a couple other people. She's like, Girl, no, you got to talk to her before the end of the day. I'm calling. I'm going I'm to make sure y'all connect because I think y'all sisters. Y'all, you remind me of her. I was like, People say that about St. Louis people. It's so funny. Uh, yeah. We got, a, we got a special kind of crazy. <laughs> we, have a, we do have a special kind of craziness. And that's what I love about it. But it's it, a good kind. It's loving, though. It's a, it's a good yeah. energy kind, though. Yes. I tell people so, it's yeah. because we're a conglomerate, conglomerate of and an, and an influence of all of the mid coast, east, I mean, east coast, mid coast, right. I mean, west. Yeah. Out, it all meets in the middle. Exactly. And because from the show me state and everybody think we country. It's like, no, we 
we not know so about country. Country. not so much. We ain't country. Right. We from we we're gonna show you how exactly. we get that. I love that. But I do want to also say to um, you, you and your audience, that whenever you purchase anything from Elevate the Good Shop, there is a percentage that goes towards all of my outreach because I end up spending a lot of my own money, which I don't mind. However, but I right. do want you to know that it, it is recycled back into the universe in some way. So I always do like the Mother's Day thing I just uh, spoke about. I did an Easter basket for the kids in the neighborhood when I found out my dad passed in 2018 and I found out he would go to the kids houses and deliver Easter baskets. And I'm like, really? So I decided to do it, but I had them come here because I did cupcakes and fruit and you know toys and books and stuff in their baskets and I personalized it and whatever. So the, the funds that I get or whatever, like the books actually were donated from a, a child author who self-published. She's someone that I, I um, actually support and have been for years. That's gonna be a whole nother conversation. But all that to say, um, it goes towards those type of outreach activities. Now, I do still do the homeless, but not up close and personal because I used to do big events where we did mobile showers and haircuts and, you know, get computers where people can help them get their social security cards. And all. So I'm not quite doing it personally like that, but I do facilitate for other organizations. And I have a lot of connections with, you know, local go uh, government authorities. And I'm trying to establish that same kind of relationship here in St. Louis. And it's actually becoming much easier after 35 years. I was like, because, you know, St. Louis, you, when you home, you home. And, it, sure. and they, people are talking to me like I have not been gone. That, that's one thing about, that's why I love coming home. And I'll always go home. I probably won't ever live there, but I'm going to always that go part, home. Right. <laughs> I love St. Louis. I always have. Yeah. It's going to be in my heart. You see my license plates up on the wall. So I we'll see. Yeah. yeah. St. Clair and St. Louis. So I can't help it. So. That's it. I'm, I'm Chris, jump back up on the screen because I'm sure we have questions, comments, and some great commentary in the comments I want to hear. So, Andy wants to. I appreciate you. Thank you. So Thank many. You. So many. I people. thought Chris came back on. Sorry, Chris. I just knew I was gonna see you with a man bun. Key must have left. I guess so. I didn't. Damn, see I thought Chris was yeah. jump in there and hook you up next Tuesday. I'm sorry. Next Tuesday. Next, next, next Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Uh, Ms. Michelle says, I'm sharing her website with my friends now. Everybody really excited and really enjoy your energy. I know you've probably never heard that before, Ms. Oh, no. Palmer. Uh, M.M., you seem like uh, you can handle this, so I'll say this. M.M. is curious if you need someone to meet up with as a side piece every third week on a Wednesday. Um, you only if you're going to help me uh, make some products. There you go. <laughs> Don't pay no attention to Mark ass. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's what he's talking about. Uh, Kiana yeah, Maria's sure, having sure. a good time. Kathy, the oh, Kat, here you go. This is easy. Uh, Carla, you can answer this. We can all answer it. Kathy wants to know what does the three one four stand for? Area code three one four, St. Louis, baby. Area code. But yeah, so on March 14th, they were celebrating the 314 day. Like I said, I didn't find out about it until like two weeks because I've been going back, coming back and forth to Atlanta for the first time in 35 years. And I was like, oh, that's a thing. And yeah. it's, a, it's a big it's celebration. Now, yeah. It's the thing. You know? <laughs> yeah, and I like that. I like that. Go I, do, I do. Yes, do your 314. Shit. Ms. Add it to the 420. Ms. Michelle. Yeah, Robo. I found out there's one in Atlanta, the 404. And I was like, 404 day, April 4th. I was like, it makes sense. But I've been there for 35 years and never heard of it or celebrated. So it's, it's like a TikTok trend. We don't even know if people going to be doing that shit. That you. part. That part. But keep it moving. Enjoy it while it lasts. Exactly. <laughs> what else we got, Chris? Why well, ask your Chris D. Yeah, Urban Work and Chris D. Z. And then uh, a couple people have asked this. Josephine wants to know yoga or Pilates. How did you get those shoulders? <laughs> um, neither. <laughs> Running It's mostly. I'm like trying to. I'm like, oh, I run. I work. Yeah, it's mostly probably from running. running. Yeah, and plus I have an athletic body in general, so I don't have an answer that was going to be pleasing to like. Oh, it's kind of just natural how my body is, to be honest with you at this well, point. That's why you're a model. Thank you. thank you. You didn't even tell everybody all that great stuff that you did, but. Um, yeah. Because I'm supposed to be retired, but my agent won't stop submitting me. 
Girl, you She's hard headed. So I'm a model. Like I gotta be a model again this weekend. <laughs> well, you can imagine. Look, you're so beautiful naturally. And you got all your natural teeth. And you probably got all your back teeth. So you I can't even imagine what you look like once they hook you up and throw your shit on and then you hit them with the Zoolander. Look at that. That's what I do. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, that is so funny. I'm Thanks. so not that kind of model like the sexy six kitty kitty. And so it takes a lot for me to get there. So I'm like, I do regular. Let me do some regular people stuff. I do, you know, like, yeah, I just do regular people stuff. I used to do all of that, but yeah. You're doing I don't it. even like having a bra on. Oh, by the way, I put on a bra for you, uh, B flat. So hey, this is how we bonded today. Carla, I was gonna say, did B, I was saying, does, did B? I don't ever check. I like, yeah, I got a bra on, Chris. Big, good for you. Yeah, I'm gonna take it off as soon as we get off too. But I need to elevate the good to be up on the screen, so I had to put a bra on so it could be up, so we could see it. So you can see it. Yeah. Oh, it was, that's that's the, way, so the goods are elevated. <laughs> My goods are new shirt. My goods are elevated. New shirt. Right I'm gonna copyright, right. co copyright Chris Denman. Oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna say my goodies are elevated. Damn there it. You go. That's better. <laughs> Chris, we're gonna have to have a meeting. Yes. I'm in St. Louis. I'll be down there in a minute. <laughs> I thought you were too okay. Interesting. MM's gonna be pissed. But yeah, come on by. Oh, you right. should have said you was in Atlanta, Lord. Mark might be right behind you. I mean, <laughs> Mark might be right behind you. Right, uh, right now. I'm going to um, jump into my irks and works really quick. And then I'm going to do the Ask Chris Deasy. You know, I got to do my Deasy dance. Please do. Really? Oh, Deasy no. dance. Go to work. Uh, Quincy is in the house. Ocean Lana is in the house. You know, uh, Daphne. Everybody's Daphne. just having fun. So that's what shout out. good. So this irks and works. You know, it came in from your favorite person, Chris Picasso B squared. Love B squared. Beverly Vaughn. She says she is irked. Per people purposely disrupt the. the she is irked by people that purposely disrupt the onboard process. By not sitting in their correct assigned seat, i.e., <laughs> middle seat. Rude. <laughs> her, work, her work is for people that prefer unassigned seating, please fly trash ass Southwest. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's her work. There it is. <laughs> She's a mess. I told her earlier today, I said, if people are sitting in my seat, I don't get upset. I said, I'm nice when I say no, and I'm nice when I say yes. And they'd be like, ma'am, can I sit? Do you mind if I sit by my mind? I'd be like, yes, I mind. And no, I'm not moving. Thank you. <laughs> I already put my stuff in the back pocket seat. And then I got that, yeah, that part. the back pocket. <laughs> and I got my shit in the back pocket. It's too late. But if you catch me and I just sat down and they'd be like, Oh, can I sit by my mom? I'll be like, oh, I don't care. I'll mm -hmm. go sit because I'll go. I'll be like, fine, but don't catch me with my shit already because I'll be like, no. <laughs> there it is. Just you heard like that. that. You heard that. Yeah, you know, don't fly Spirit out of Philadelphia. You won't get your seat by next to B. That's for sure. <laughs> you know what? I feel like if you want to pay the five dollars, pick a seat. <laughs> That's right. But see, people don't want to pay the little five dollars. And they want to just get the seat assignment for free and then get on there, people around and be looking all in the back and shit and be like, Mom, there's a person up here, ask them. You be like, bitch, I ain't moving. I don't know why you about to, why you all up with the, you sit your monkey ass down. It's not you going nowhere. So anyway, <laughs> let me <ask> you, <laughs> let me do that. Chris Weezy. It's and, you know, uh, it's Carla's favorite segment. Hit the music, Andy. It's Ask Chris Deasy. What do we got? I'm doing this for you, Chris, and for Miguel <laughs> and tomorrow. Uh oh, I'm building this right shoulder. Look at her go. Hi. <laughs> Carla, she's elevating the dance goods. I love That's it. That's what she's doing. Mm. Ah. 
Ah, 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 <laughs> oh B. What a, what a start to the segment. Ask your Chris Deasy questions in. Vern has a quick question. Ask Chris how is he gonna wear how's he gonna wear a man bun with headphones? Quick fix. I'm not gonna wear a man bun. So there it is. Oh. At nine thirty. I mean at ten thirty. Nine thirty your time. It's too late for the man bun. Mm. But hopefully we'll get to see it next week. Never know. We'll see. You never know. We'll still be celebrating, Chris. You know, we celebrate. We got 10 episodes all the way up to the 100, which falls the week before we get there. We wow. We'll be on 100. So, yes. Have you that recruited Carla I- Carla to St. Louis in September? I'm there, baby. I- she in there like a booty hair. They don't go nowhere. I am in there. I'm actually trying to make up some more stuff to do. Like we can bring to the to the table for real, for real. So yes, there's liter- There are sixty musical acts. <laughs> I think you'll That's be plenty okay. busy. I think you'll be busy. Just a <laughs> wild cool. guess. That's cool. Well, Chris, I'm excited. I got it for you. She just wants to. It's from B Square. She just wants to know: Do you prefer fishing or skinny dipping? Now, is fishing like a sexual move? <laughs> I don't know. It's skinny Good dipping. Question. Right? That's fair. Is skinny dipping a sexual move? Uh, you could skinny dip with your friends and family. I mean, it just depends on, on how close you are. I wouldn't, personally. But, uh, I ain't never skinny dipping with my family. <laughs> I don't know. The, the, the skinny dipping part, you got to think. I, I'm a little nervous because I did grow up in the country, so I don't immediately think swimming pool, and I don't need my stuff getting nibbled on. Because there's critters that'll do that. And even yeah. in a swimming pool, then you're risking the neighbors and all that other stuff. But it's it's quite have free. Ever- I think we all have, I hope. One, I like skinny dipping. I ain't gonna lie. I used to do it all the time. <laughs> I think I'd be, uh, it'd be un-American to choose, skin, to choose really? fishing over skinny. Skinny dipping, you gotta go with, right? You know, sit around, catch fish. Yeah, I, I've fished well, enough. Fish- Although I don't like when you catch the fish, I just like the atmosphere of fishing. I don't like to yeah. catch the fish. You just like yeah. to get high in nature. Yeah, and just <laughs> had a fish out there with nothing on it. <laughs> exactly. Because I'm not catching no fish, and I'm not throwing no shit back because I'm not catching it. And I don't like to see them when they be on there wiggling. They, they, they wiggly? Yeah. Yeah, that's mean. So I be like, just leave the fish alone and act like you're fishing. Oh Throw an God. empty hook. Throw an empty <laughs> Okay. So. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So great. Uh, I guess great. Ask Chris Deasy. Um, we had somebody mention something in the comments about Chris is white. Does he care about the submarine? Oh, that's terrible. And I can't even listen to that story. <laughs> One of my biggest fears is in the ocean and something. That whole story about them people being lost in the ocean is it is horrific. I think it's I think it's kind of weird. Man. I can't imagine no shit like that, Chris. And now they're running out of oxygen, and they're just stuck down there. That's Instead, right. I just I pray for those people. I pray that they find those people. That's the worst death. Well, yeah. do you think it, you That's don't pay worst. attention? You don't pay attention as much. Be I've seen this, and I get it. People are trying to be funny online, but people are wow. like, yeah, well, because they're they're rich people that are in the submarine because they paid two hundred fifty. But it's so right. strange to me that okay, I get it. Yeah, we're rich people, whatever. But it's it's really weird that you're rooting for people to be like tortured, die, death. Like this isn't a video game. These people are actually like facing death in the in the yes. you know, eye to eye. I saw so many comments and tweets like, you, you know, making fun. Oh, eat the rich, all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, I get it. I'll joke about literally anything, and I totally get it. But I'm also like, I think you're kind of serious, and I think you're kind of off base. It's weird. Cringeworthy. It's, yeah. it's still people. I- I think, yeah, I just really think that's sad. And it's a really sad way to suffer. It would be different if your plane crashed in the ocean and they're searching for dead bodies. But these people are alive, mm-hmm. lost in the ocean. 
And I don't think people are grasping that. So yeah, it's weird. Like people cheering them on out. to die. It's really sad. I can't watch it. it talk, can we move on? Let me show my flyers. That's gonna make me. That's cry. why elevate the good. Elevate, elevate the good. good. Elevate your goods. Ele- elevate your goods. You got to elevate your goods. People. They are looking for people that are potentially alive. That's right. so scary. So I'm praying that they find them. Oh, I'm here we go. Them. I'll answer this. Felicia, Chris, yeah. how, how did you celebrate Juneteenth? Staying out, yeah, of you- Staying out of everybody's way. Oh, Chris, I know you did something black on Juneteenth. You got a name. You Chris Deasy. You had to do something black. Even if it was just eat a piece of barbecue in the name of black people. <laughs> you did something black. <laughs> Chris, you had to do something black on Juneteenth other than work in the office all day uh, long. I read uh, scripture uh, on the steps of uh, of uh, Soldier's Memorial to passersby. Even if you said, I made a phone call to King. Um, and said, hey, <laughs> I did, you know what I didn't do? I didn't bother you. I didn't bother Key. I didn't bother Kim and I didn't bother Kim and Sherry. I didn't bother one black person. So you don't ever bother us. But That's if you would have called and said happy or texted and said happy Juneteenth, no. I'd have been like, I think oh, I think just stay away from it. <laughs> I think just enjoy it. And leave safe. leave me out of it. Be safe, kind of like the Jane Pittman dance. <laughs> Be safe. <laughs> Let me show these two flyers and keep it pushing so we can end this show. <laughs> I'm rolling out of here Saturday morning, 6 a.m. M.M. M.M. says, I'm sorry, I'll read this in a second. M.M. says, DZ put his gas bill on his cousin's name for June. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh. Brutal. Okay. Uh, that's good. <sighs> that is hilarious. Goodness. How about this? Marvin Dixon presents 50 Shades of Comedy. And you know who's on it? I bet you can't guess, Carla, can you? Who? 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 You know what? Alicia Coley, oh. Kiana Dancy, and the great B Flat. And a what? host that's not named. Uh, June 24th, Girls Are a Trip, Volume 3. Not 2, not 4. Volume 3. That's right. The not. Casino at Dania Beach. Doors at 7. Show at 8. 21 and over. Don't be coming in with your fake IDs. CasinoDanielBeach.com for tickets. You know B is bringing it. Yes, I am. All of us are. I can guarantee you that all three of us are. Mm. And I can guarantee you that me and Shy are going to hold this motherfucking show down. Because Marvin, I mean, uh, Malcolm Hill and Lawrence, they think they funny in us. They were talking about, yeah, I want a battle. Ain't no such (laughs) thing. (laughs) If they're if he if they're jealous or jealous, whoa, wrong. No, they're not if jealous. they're if they're brave enough, if they're brave enough, I bet they are very good and very funny. And Talk I, about I would love the that. The guy versus the girl, please, hands down, we will win. That's no all I got. No competition. I'm well, confident in us. We'll see August fifth, and I'm gonna have to play a little sample. I might have to put a clip on the show and let the people judge. That's right. Other uh, than that. B flat, Lauren Owens, Malcolm Hill, Chocolate Shy, and guess what? That's at Calabash Banquet and Restaurant. Yeah. You know, guess where you can nice. get the tickets? B, their hair chemistry, five twenty seven North Sixtieth Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay. Stop by Hair Chemistry for your comedy tickets. At thirty dollars advance, you want to get them ahead of time, and you can also call Ward. We love that we can call Ward or Cebu at two six seven three two four one. I'm for if you can't make it by hair chemistry, call Ward at 267 324 1504 6208 Lancaster Avenue, Philadelphia, BA 19151. That's Saturday, August 5th, doors at 6, show at 7. Get the tickets now. Come on. You know, Chris always la- laughing at the black old school flyers. <laughs> uh, I, I, I caught that. I caught it. I caught it. <laughs> always be cracking up because he think everybody wants to do everything on Eventbrite. I, oh, I, use it, a, I do not use Eventbrite. I don't use Eventbrite. I'm just saying, like he used to like a ticketing service. He ain't used to the old school where no, I love it. Yeah. tickets. Hey, I can well, laugh. I, at, I can laugh at the flyer. I, mean, I, I, I cut you no off, people. Chris, I mean, no what's, I mean, you can always go to the corner store and get your tickets to go see B flat. What's the problem? 
three, <laughs> three, three, three hundred page, <laughs> three hundred chapters of information on one flyer. I love it. And you know what? It. <laughs> And I bet you they still have questions. They still well, have questions. Still, though. It, but it's a, I do though, and you know what? I can I can giggle all you want, but you know what? I bet that show is sold out. It will be. I ain't even worried. It'll be about packed. That. I love it. And they ain't worried about no transactions. <laughs> all their money. They know I want all my money. <laughs> oh so man. I was, <laughs> mm. Carla, when we log off, don't log off unless Andy got pictures because we have to take like a. We could get a photo okay. afterwards. Uh, not okay. such a tight show, but it says MM, but you know what? We all love you. And uh, Carla and B showing excellent chemistry. Everybody wants you to come back, Carla. I'm sure we can make that happen. So, uh, B, anything else before we go? Uh, no, Chris, other than, you know, I always like to thank my B consoles and everybody's tuning in every Tuesday because, you know, they could be anywhere watching anything and i'm always glad that they're here watching us so i appreciate that shout out to and dr just, kim j too everybody ready to get to st louis and just celebrate <laughs> getting to st louis and just the picasso nation and the if kickback you, we were to converge chris we, we are we, t- we just did a big event thursday called the gentleman jack kickback that was over at uh hilo that was good the mayor stopped by it was nice that's what i just saw uh, it on the news yeah, uh, that was not nice. Uh, what you saw her on the news? That was part. not nice. No. I saw her on the news, but I did. I saw her roar. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Dr. Kim J. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, when you all do come to St. Louis, be prepared. Five dollars to use the restroom. Ten dollars for number two, and you get a slice of uh, toilet paper. So if you're in our office, that's that's the charge. Chris, I told you already. Told people to bring their own toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> We save your money on toilet paper. Everybody come with their own roll. <sighs> you upcycling, recycling. Yes, this is, and we got our own spray. And look, Chris, I even got three people on toilet duty. That's gonna keep the bathroom clean. That's important. Thank you. It is. That's important. Yes, we got three volunteers on that, and one person that's gonna be picking up trash and re- making sure the trash cans aren't pulled up, filled. I got you covered. What about the? Do you uh, need the scrubby brush? The scrubby, br- well, we got it. We have all the tools now. Don't forget the tra- oh, yeah, the treasure chest needs uh, emptied in the uh, in the stalls as well. Oh Lord, I don't know if we got that cup. That's a whole nother all, right. all right, let's let's roll out. Let's roll out. <laughs> Andy, give me my roll out music. Thanks to Andy. Thanks to Key. Thanks to everybody for working hard, tuning in. Be sure to check out the website. Elevate the good. Wow. wow Do it. Wow. Elevate the good shop. That's right. Website in the live chat. Thanks, everybody. We're back next week. Bye bye. Thanks, everybody. Love you, Picasso. See you next Tuesday. And every day this week, I'm trying to. Oh, coming to the loop, coming to the loop,